Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. We're in the middle of a rainstorm here, but I'm so happy to be a part of a collaboration from the lovely Diane from Once Upon a Storage. Let's go ahead and get started. Diane's challenge to us is to find a roadside rescue, take a family hand-me-down or any piece that may have been given to us and transform it into something fabulous using our DIY skills. This small stool was given to me by a really sweet lady who went to our church before she moved away. And when we moved into our home, it actually sat right in front of the coat closet door. It was a great place for my husband to sit down and put his shoes on. Well, I've taken it to the garage and it's been out there for months. So it's time for me to bring it back inside with an updated look and make things a little bit easier for him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me clarify. I am not the originator of this idea. I simply went to my closet, found some old fabric as well as some old chalk paint. And as you guys know, I love to chalk paint. I love to chalk paint. I love to chalk paint. And I can't help but say it out loud. No, I can't help say it out loud. Well, after finding this lovely bench on Overstock.com for basically $193, I received my validation and I proceeded forward with my plan. In addition to fabric, these are the rest of the supplies that I use to complete my project. A drill, an electric stapler, some old homemade chalk paint, which I stored in a jar for up to four days a paintbrush, water, a lint-free cloth, scissors, Minwax paste finishing wax in both natural and dark. And these supplies you may not necessarily need, but I used them doing my project. Clamps, pliers, a small hammer, and an electric sander, which is not pictured because it was really dirty. Okay guys, let me make it clear. I want this to be a no so project. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to remove the seat from the base. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and paint the base because while it is drying, I can actually be working on the seat. Oh yeah, no muscles required. Just an easy pull and the fabric comes right off. Okay guys, with the weather being in and out of rain and then it's hot again, I'm going to go ahead and reupholster the cushion seat here upstairs. And so here's that fabric that I showed you guys earlier. It's a navy vinyl. But interesting enough, on this side, it looks almost like a silky, raw silk kind of linen look. I want that color. So I'm going to simply reverse it. This is going to be the part that's underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and place my cushion down. And we are going to go ahead and start stapling the fabric. I start by stapling the fabric in the center on all four sides. I make sure to stretch the fabric with every staple. That's why I need the pliers. And you'll also see me using the clamp to make sure that I achieve that tightness. The corners can be a little tricky, but this is the way that I prefer to do them. It's a little bit easier on my wrist and I like the result, how smooth it looks on the edges. I'm going to put the link to my dining room makeover so you can take a look at some other ways in which I got my corners nice and smooth. Guys, I love this. The point I'm trying to make is you can reupholster your seat cushions on your dining room chairs while sitting down watching a movie. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Doing it right now, doing it in the house, and just getting some things done. I hope you'll take this on. The next step is to simply reattach the cushion to the base. In other words, the way you took it off is the way you put it back on in reverse. And yes, I am excited. Here's my before and after. I was able to even reattach those little gold strips. I 
just love it. Well, what do you think? Does the a la carte pine upholstered bench hold the candle to my free IY? I don't think so. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. I've got lots more projects like that, from living room chairs to dining room chairs, 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 chairs. But thanks a lot for stopping by. All of the participants in this collaboration will be found in the comments area of this video. Click, watch, and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.